we're going to be talking about meditating. Um, this is part two. We did part one um, on Monday. And so part two is from Isaiah 28 and verse 13. Isaiah 28 and verse 13. And it says this. So then the word of the Lord to them will become. Do this. Do that. A rule for this. A rule for that. A little here. A little there. Mm. We heard we have heard this over the years so that as they go they will fall backward they will be injured and snared and captured do this do that a rule for this and a rule for that a little here a little there mm. line up here here a little there a little my god Percolate. Percolate. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Percolate. Let's take a moment, my brothers and sisters. Let's take this meditate, percolate idea a step further. All right. If you're a tea drinker, <laughs> if you're a tea drinker, you can substitute the word brew if you prefer because a lot of you you know you don't drink coffee you're you're tea persons so you can find a word to substitute brew but rather than feeling overwhelmed by the thought that we don't have the time or the discipline there's nothing wrong with easing yourself into meditation all right nothing wrong with easing yourself into meditation you don't have to force meditation on yourself all right, just ease yourself in. It's not a case of give it or um, give it your all or do nothing at all. It's not one of those kind of cases. Amen. Take small steps. We're talking about meditating. Take small steps. If you only have 10 minutes to spare for your meditation, make every one of those minutes count. Make every single one of those minutes count. You don't have to read 10 chapters of the Bible. <laughs> it's not like doing a book review for school. And, and you're not going to be tested on it either. You're just taking time to usa, taking time to mellow down, taking time to meditate on God's word, meditate with some light music. You know, like I'm speaking to you now with some light music in the background. Meditate. Everybody breathe. Take it in, let it out. Meditate. Stop for a moment in your busy day, in a busy schedule, and meditate. Meditate. Now, um, we, we read the verse just now, all right? I want to read you this the, um, from, from, from in verse 13 of that chapter. Verse 13 says this, But the word of the Lord was to them precept upon precept, Precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little, there a little. That's what the New King James Version says. Here a little, there a little. Whether you have 10 minutes or 10 hours, my brothers and sisters, God's word is so rich. His word is so rich with detail and, and truth that you can take one phrase, just one phrase from the Bible, or even one idea, and let it percolate, let it brew, let it brew into your mind. Take one verse and just think about that one verse and let, let it let it marinate in your in your in your mind. Let it percolate in your mind. Instead of watching TV sometimes or constantly scrolling through social media. Hmm. Constantly scrolling through social media. Just sit still with your favorite comforting hot drink. Your tea, your coffee, whatever you drink hot. Something nice and, 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 and soothing to you. And let God's spirit, let his spirit within you in, interpret. Let God's spirit within you interpret, enlarge, and enrich his word. As you turn it over in your mind, as you flow 
with the Holy Spirit and let it turn in your mind and percolate is the word I love. Percolate. Brew. Let it turn over in your mind. Think about it during your journey home from work. Or think about over lunch. Or during a break. You take a break from work and whatever you're doing and, and, and think about it. Just think about it. Those, the, the, that, that scripture, that word. Amen? Some days you'll feel like you're, um, you've are you hit the jackpot spiritually. And, and I know that for sure. I mean, I, I come across some things in the Bible and I'm like, whoa! Let me read that again. Hold on. Some days it will hit you like, like you hit the jackpot, um, jackpot spiritually. Other days, you'll just feel like you, you've added a little more to your basic Bible knowledge. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you'll feel like you're coming away with nothing particularly new. Nothing new. I read this before. I read it so many times. It's not, nothing new to me. But how many times have you read the Bible? And you're like, oh my God, I've seen this all the time. And I never understood it this way before. That's what the word of God does to you. That's what the word of God does to you. So many times you're going to read it and you, you come across nothing partic particularly new. But an idea that you may have forgotten has been reaffirmed in your spirit. Something that you come, come across real strong to you. And you're like, oh my God. The key is consistency. That's the key. The key is consistency. Do this for a full year and see what happens. You'll end up with 365, no pun intended, 365 scriptural insights to draw on. Do it for a whole 365 days and see what happens. Just imagine the difference that could make in your life, in your family, in your circle, with your friends. You're not just talking about regular stuff anymore. You can simply be at the dinner table and say, you know what? This scripture verse came to my mind and I looked it up and this is what it was saying to me. Have you ever come across that? A conversation developed just like that. So my brothers and sisters, each time you sit down with a hot drink, and we're using hot drink because we're talking about percolating. Each time you sit down with a hot drink, read a short section of the Bible. Read something. Just open up the Bible sometimes. Just, just randomly open the Bible. Don't necessarily go from the middle for the psalm. But randomly open your Bible and read a short section of the Bible. Then spend just a few minutes, my brothers and sisters, thinking deeply and praying about what you've read. It doesn't matter what the, the scenario is. I hate to call them stories because they're not stories. These are real life events. But whatever you come across when you're reading the Bible, for that moment, just spend a few minutes thinking deeply and praying about what you read. And that's your meditation for the day. That is your meditation sometimes for the week. Because you might have that one verse that you read every single day of that week. And you get seven different interpretations. You get seven different understanding. You get seven different blessing. You get seven, seven different experience in reading those words. So God bless you this morning, today. For those of you who are watching this tape and hearing this for the first time, meditate, percolate. Let the word of God percolate in your spirit. Let it brew in your spirit. Let it draw. You know what I'm saying? I've draw tea. Let it draw in your spirit this morning. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Perpetual Wednesday Worship on GL365 Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, here's what's going down. Here's what's going down. Here's what's going down, Daddy. We are GL365 Radio. Information. Music. Music. If you don't know, now you know. Jeez, that die.